Now, this is going to be the existing system that we have, guys. We're looking at a, a 12 by 25 cold air return drop. Um, that's in ductboard. Overall, I'd rather switch or switch that over to sheet metal and full. Um, we'd get a whole entire new setup from this side down. I'll get you guys a new drop for it. Um, this system's also not on a base can. Um, the furnace is about 41 inches from the bottom all the way to the top. Um, we probably prefer it on a base can, but the cold air return drop is quite large. It is a 100,000 BTU, give or take four or five ton system. Uh, we also have three inch PVC for the exhaust and the fresh air on this side, as well as the electrical. And then you got the gas run and influx on this side. Um, ideally, what I would prefer to have done um, is putting the whole entire system on a base can, uh, keeping the filter rack here, but make sure it's got a cover and it's a little bit more cleaned up. You can probably just put in a new filter rack. Just make that a little bit more seamless. Uh, the AC is brand spanking new though, so we don't really want to touch that. If we're able to do the base can with the furnace um, on top of it to make sure everything's up to code and it's getting plenty and plenty of airflow, go ahead and do that. If not, and we need to move the AC up, that's fine. You guys got plenty of room from here on up. Um, it is R410A on the refrigerant line, of course, because it's newer. And you can see it just running all the way out here. Um, but that's, that's basically everything guys. It's got three cold air returns and give or take about 20 vents, uh, for this system. This is the main power unit for the entire house. Um, and basically the workhorse. So that's it.